Hello learners, here we are given an equation of pair of straight lines, which is uh, this and that for to this pair of straight lines, you know, another line is meeting x plus 2y is equal to k and uh, you know, so when uh, and another pair of straight lines, which is newly formed, they are mutually perpendicular. So, so based on that, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to do this entire question, like basically if you will. Uh, join from origin to the points of intersection of the curve of like the, uh, the two intersections, two points of intersections, which you will do, you would basically get a pair of straight lines and they are mutually perpendicular. So that's the entire scenario. In case you did not understand what I spoke just now, stay with me. You will understand as I do the, uh, do the question in this question, we are going to use something known as homogenization. Okay. To, uh, get the actual uh, answer. So stay with me, uh, till the end. Fine. Uh, this is the equation. I just, you know, kept it here so that it would be easy. Now let, let the curve, let the curve two X square, this curve I'm going to write as it is two X square minus two X Y plus three Y square plus two X minus Y minus one equal to zero, which I'm going to mark it as one. Okay. Meet the straight line, meet the straight line, meet the straight line, X plus two Y is equal to K, which I'm going to mark it as two at A and B. Okay. At A and b okay fine this you could write it other way also let the straight line x plus 2 is equal to a meet the curve this or you know anything's fine okay either the curve meets the straight line or straight line meets the curve it's totally fine now now listen carefully <clears throat> now what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to homogenize uh, uh equation one with respect to equation two so i'd get the equation of pair of lines o a and ob okay i'd get the equation of pair of lines o a and ob but before that, I just want to convert this to the form in which I can homogenize X plus two Y is equal to K. So what I need is I want one on the right hand side before I homogenize. So I'm going to divide this entire equation by K. So I'd get X plus two Y divided by K is equal to one. This I'm going to mark it as three. Okay. This I'm going to mark it as three. Now. Uh, this equation, which I have, okay, this equation, which I, okay, I'll just start, just start writing now only, uh, on homogenizing on homogenizing one with, with the help of, with the help of, with the help of three. Okay. With the help of three. You know, we get the equation of pair of lines. We get the equation. We get the equation of pair of lines of pair of lines of lines OA and OB. Okay. This is what I'm going to get upon my homogenization. <clears throat> Now, before homogenization, I need to convert this equation in a form which is fit for homogenization. You don't have to do nothing much. Okay. I might call it as a form fit for homogenization. What I'm going to do is all the second degree terms, just keep them as it is. Okay. All the second degree terms, keep them as it is. Now to the first degree term, you need to multiply one. Okay. Two X into one, uh, and two X is a first degree term and minus Y is also a first degree term Y into one. And this is a constant minus one. I need to multiply by one square. Okay. I need to multiply by one square so that overall the entire equation would only contain second degree terms. Now in place of one, I'm going to put this three. Okay. I'm going to put this three, which is X plus two Y by K. That's where the actual, uh, you know, calculation starts two X square minus two X Y plus three Y square plus two X into what is one? I just told you, right? X plus two Y by K X plus two Y by K and minus Y into X plus two Y by K and minus one into X plus two Y by K whole square. 
is equal to zero. Now from, now from here on, some good amount of simplification simplification will happen. So stay with me. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, the LCM to this entire equation is going to be k square. Okay, because there is a k square here. Uh, there is just k, so I need to multiply and divide by k either way. And to this uh, first uh, three terms, I need to multiply and divide by k square so that I get the proper LCM. Okay, I'll show you in a proper, in a step-by-step -step manner slowly, so don't worry about that. So I'm going to multiply and divide k square to the first three terms, okay? You can just refer from here also. It's there at the top of the screen. I kept it so that I can use it anytime. 2x square minus 2xy plus 3y square, okay? Now, and I told you, right, to these two terms, uh, I'm going to multiply and divide by k, I'd get uh, plus 2kx uh, into x plus 2y, x plus 2y by k square, by k square, because I multiplied and divided by k here. <clears throat> Next, uh, minus y, uh, ky into x plus 2y. I'm just writing it here, minus ky into x plus 2y by k square. And then uh, minus of x plus 2y whole square by k square. Minus of x plus 2y whole square divided by k square. Yeah. <laughs> this is nothing but equal to zero. Now if you will observe, there is a common denominator k square to all the terms, okay? So I can just... Uh, you know, uh, club them nicely. And I can now like bring all the numerators. I can perform operations on all the numerators. So what I have is, observe carefully, k square into this first three terms, k square into this first three terms, 2x square minus 2xy plus 3y square plus 2kx into x plus 2y. Uh, this I'm going to just uh, split, uh, I mean multiply it. 2kx into x is 2kx square plus 2k x square okay next what does have 2kx into 2y is nothing but 4kxy okay 2 2 is a 4 and then k would be as it is and then xy plus 4kxy now minus ky into x is minus kxy minus kxy now minus ky into 2y is uh, minus 2ky square okay minus 2ky square minus 2k y square and then minus of this x plus 2y whole square is nothing but x square plus 2y whole square which is 4y square plus 2 into x into 2y which is nothing but 4xy okay now to this entire term there is a denominator to this entire term there is a denominator k square okay anyways that i'm going to send it to the you know right hand side but still i wanted to show it in this step now you see this k square would go to the RHS. So basically 0 into k square is 0. So fine. Now that's done with. Now let's multiply k square also. I mean uh, multiply k square to this bracket as well. So I'd get 2k square x square. 2k square x square. Minus 2k square xy. Plus 3k square y square. Now next plus 2k x square. Other terms I'm going to put as it is plus 4kxy minus, okay, uh, I think we can do some simplification here. See, uh, 4kxy minus kxy is 3kxy plus 3kxy minus 2ky square, 2ky square. And then minus if I'll multiply to all these three terms, I'd get minus x square minus 4y square minus 4xy is nothing but equal to 0. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring like terms together. Wherever x square is there, you know, just bring them all together. Like there is first 2k square x square, 2k square x square. Where is another x square term? 2k, 2K x square plus 2k x square plus 2k x square. Next, <clears throat> next, what does I have? Uh, plus two uh, k x square, and then an, and minus x square, minus x square. Okay, then let me bring all the x y terms. X y terms are minus two k square x y, minus two k square x y. I'm not doing anything. I'm just rearranging. 
and plus 3k xy plus 3k xy why i'm doing it you will understand in the next step uh, because it will be easy for calculations and then uh, minus 4xy minus 4xy now let's come to y square plus 3k square y square plus 3k square y square uh, what else uh, minus 2k y square minus 2k y square minus 4y square is equal to 0. Now observe what I'm going to do is I'm going to take x square common from these three terms. I'm going to take x square common from these three terms. So I'd get x square into 2k square plus 2k minus 1. I'm going to take uh, xy common in uh, these three terms. Okay, if I'll take xy common, so I'd get plus xy into plus xy into minus 2k square don't forget symbols okay minus 2k square plus 3k minus 4 and then plus y square into y square into 3k square minus 2k minus 4 is equal to 0 fine now we got it of the form a ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 okay now this is of the form <clears throat> this is of the form this is of the form of the form ax square plus 2hxy plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. Now we know that it's given in the beginning. Okay, in the beginning of the question only gave they, they gave that the lines are you know mutually perpendicular. The pair of lines OA bar and OB bar are mutually perpendicular. Since the pair of lines, since the pair of lines since the pair of lines OA bar and OB bar are mutually perpendicular are mutually perpendicular perpendicular A plus B is equal to 0 okay small a small small b is equal to 0 Small a is nothing but coefficient of x square. Okay, for small a is nothing but coefficient of x square. What is the coefficient of x square here? 2k square plus 2k minus 1. Okay, so we get 2k square plus 2k minus 1. Uh, what is b coefficient of y square? Uh, it is nothing but 3k square minus 2k minus 4. Okay, so plus 3k square minus 2k. Yeah, minus 4 is equal to 0. Now 2k square plus 3k square is 5k square and uh, plus 2k minus 2k is 0 minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5 so 5k square minus 5 is nothing but equal to 0 so 5k square is equal to 5 and uh, so okay, a 5 5 would get cancelled I would get k square as 1 so k is nothing but equal to plus or minus 1 k is nothing but equal to plus or minus 1 that's it. So if uh, to give a quick summary, you know, basically we got the pair of equation to the pair of lines OA bar and, and OA bar by homogenizing and then uh, we know that that pair of lines is actually perpendicular. So that's why the coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is zero and hence we got the value of k. Fine, that's it. Thank you. In case you like this uh, video solution, uh, please hit the like button and if this is your first time coming across my channel, please do subscribe to it.